Billy Fitz 15. You ever find yourself where you're in a kitchen or in a room in your house or somewhere and you go to turn on the light switch like this and nothing happens? The, the light don't come on? And you're asking yourself, wow, what could possibly be the problem? It's either the fluorescent light, it's the baluster, or it could be the the little switch inside of it. So that's three different problems that could go wrong. Well today what we're going to do is we're going to switch all of that out for one single light. <laughs> Here we go again. It's an LED light, it's called a toggle switch. Let me show you what it looks like. This is a Home Depot product. Well, they sell it at Home Depot. It, this is, replaces the T8 and the T12 LEDs, uh, uh, neon fluorescent lights. That's what's in there. It's either a T8 or a T12 is going to be in there. <coughs> I don't really care which one is in there because I'm going to replace it with an LED light. And I'm going to take you along to see, show you just how easy it is to do this. So there's no crazy wiring skills or anything like that. It's almost like plugging a an, uh, plug into an outlet in your house. It's the same thing. You just have to switch the wires out. So let's get started. Let's take these bulbs, bulbs out of here and then we'll test it for electricity. Just turn the bulbs, they'll pop right out. Somewhere on the bulbs they'll probably say T8, I don't know, They're, but they are T8. Yeah. Fluorescent bulbs, trash. That's where they're going. And then we're gonna pop this off. Okay. And, wow, looks like we have a, uh, a little bit of a situation up here. Okay, first of all, these wires are useless. Just so you guys know, all of this is gonna go in the garbage. All of these wires going into the garbage. The only wires we are going to be keeping is, are these two wires coming out of the ceiling right there. Let's check it for electric right now. And the power is off. All right, let's double check the rest of these wires. Now it's hot, we know it's hot. Turn it off. <laughs> we know it's not. All right, that solved that problem. So which wires do we cut here as you're looking at all these wires? Well, The wires that we are going to keep are going to be these four wires because the toggled LEDs only need two wires. That's it. They, when you plug them in, it's two prongs. It's just like a receptacle. And that's it. So what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna cut this out. It's useless, it serves us no purpose. Taking it all out, completely out. We'll cut this from here. Goodbye. We're gonna unscrew this. We actually don't even have to take that out. It's not bothering us. So we'll just remove all the wires, get rid of it. Now that's gone. Let me show you what I'm talking about. it comes with the prongs. You see the prongs? The thing for the bulb. And then these lights. Oops. 
that's what we need right there. This gets attached. As you can see, this only has writing on one side. This is the side. If we took this right now and we plug this right into a receptacle, let me show you what I'm talking about. If I plug this right into a receptacle, if I was able to get this in a little bit farther, this light would turn on. But because it, it, it doesn't go in far enough, it won't turn on. But that's what happens. The electricity only goes in here, either a black or a white, or a black or a white, doesn't make a difference. Only one side is hot, the other side is not. It's just in there to hold it up. Might have helped if I had the address, I could have Googled it, but I didn't have the address, I only knew by sight. See now, technically we should probably take these things out and replace them, but we don't need to. We have the wiring. As you guys can see, look at the wiring. It's the same, black on one side, white on the other side. It's just like a receptacle, just like your house. So what we're gonna do is we're going to replace this. We're gonna turn this red wire and this red wire into white wires. So we're gonna join this wire and this wire. They're gonna become one. And that's why we're gonna put the little knot in, tie them up like that. And then this, these two wires are going to become the black, just like that. And we'll keep them together. And then, when these join together, these two are gonna join to the hot, right there. I've been in jobs where, you, when you remove this wire from here, it's, oh my goodness, like right there. Oh wow, that's the situation. That could ground, ground out. I need to cover that with electrical tape. Thank goodness I brought some. Very interesting. I'm glad it's the neutral. And I'm glad that this is rubber. Looks like somebody had the same problem on the other side. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna mess with these wires. These wires do not look healthy. So not healthy wires. Okay. That's good. These will become our contact. Oh wow, another break right there. Hmm. That's these old houses, they dry rot the wires. That's why they say that you should upgrade your wiring in your home, if you have an old home, because plastic erodes and it'll dry rot in the walls. Oh wow, another one right there. Look at that. We do have some erosion up here, people. But that's all right, we'll fix it. It's not gonna move. As long as it's, as long as it's covered. Okay. Now these two wires, they join together. We gotta make them a little bit longer, and then these two wires join together. So, let's get to joining.
See what I'm doing? I'm twisting all these wires together and then I'm going to put a wire nut on them. Make them safe. This is 110 up here. This hasn't dropped down to low voltage, it's still 110. We'll disconnect these wires right here. Actually, I'm going to leave that attached long like that because I'm afraid. Take this and we cut it a little bit shorter. Remember, this is going to be replacing that. So the, this is now the black. Oh, oh, that didn't make any sense what I just did. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. Ay. Oh no, that's right. That's right. This? Yeah, it's over here. Oh, that had me confused. Okay. So, the, this is the black, which is going to go to this wire right here. I'm going to twist that up. And then put a couple of wire nuts on it. This one is the white. These wires get completely eliminated. They are useless. They are going to serve in no purpose because that is the dead end. So we're just going to cut them. Useless. Useless. We can just leave them up there. They don't get no juice whatsoever. Alrighty, that's that. Let's try a bulb in here. Let's try one of our uh, new fancy schmancy bulbs. Remember, the writing goes to the hot side. Let's okay, try this bad boy up here, like so. This might help if I took this protector off. Okay. There's one. All right, the moment of truth. Hey! Okay, so we know it works. You guys seen it, seen it with your own eyes. You saw how easy it was. Now, of course, I'm gonna pull the bulb out. Put all the wiring back and then close it up properly. And that didn't take me more than 30 minutes. That's all it was. Remember, all of this is dead. Has, serves no purpose whatsoever. Okay, so the only reason why we're leaving in that is because what difference does it make? It doesn't, doesn't bother us. And then I would just have to throw it away. So now, I'll take my electrical tape, and put the wires together. Now the ground, the ground in this particular light, it serves no purpose. I don't even understand why it's here because there's no ground coming out of the ceiling. So basically what they used this ground for was to hold the wires up. That's it. And we'll do the same thing.
Right. Like that, and that like that. Like that, and then this way everything's away from everything else. We got a little cover here, fancy schmancy cover. I'm gonna put our cover back on. Make sure we cover the, the wires. Because this is gonna be 110, so this has to be, this can't pinch. None of these wires can pinch. They have to be nice and, and smooth. So that's important that they go in there properly. Okay, we're on, on this side. All of this is on. Move the switch to this side. Close that up. Close that up. And then close that up. Now we put the wires, the light bulbs back in. Remember, the power is on this side. So let's put the bulbs back and see what we got. Oh, this way. There's one. When they lock in, they lock in. You can feel it. There's no mistake in them locking in. Because they lock in really nice. Now when these things lock in, they lock in really nice. I don't know what's going on with my other camera over there. It keeps shutting off. I'm not too happy about that. Again, see, just shut off again. I have to look into that, it's probably faulty. Send it back to GoPro. Anybody knows why it does that? Leave a comment down below. Maybe you guys can tell me why the GoPro keeps shutting off by itself. Go. When these things lock in, they lock in really nice. I don't know what's going on with my other camera over there. I don't know what's going on with my other camera over there. It keeps shutting off. I'm not too happy about that. Again, see, just shut off again. I have to look into that. It's probably faulty. Send it back to GoPro. Anybody knows why it does that? Leave a comment down below. Maybe you guys can tell me why the GoPro keeps shutting off by itself. GoPro, start recording. Thanks for watching Movie Kids 15. We have finished the light. Uh, we hope you learned something from it. As you can see, the light is up there. It's working perfectly on the switch. You can't tell if it's an LED or if it's a fluorescent light. I'm, maybe you can tell because it's, it is brighter. It's a, a more stable looking light. Okay, I want to thank you guys for watching these videos. I do want to mention that in order for you guys to give me helpful tips, which I do need, you have to be subscribed to the channel to leave a comment. And I didn't know this uh, until I, I tried to leave a comment on somebody else's channel because I felt that it was important that I told them something. Uh, it turns out that I could not leave a comment because I was not a subscriber. So I had to subscribe to the channel. So now I am personally subscribed to about 10 different YouTube channels, only because I, I like to leave uh, comments. Never anything bad, of course, you know, that's just not my job. But, uh, you know, I, I do like to uh, communicate with the people that are doing the videos, and I just wish you guys would communicate with me and, and maybe leave some helpful remarks, or if they're not helpful, uh, you know, tell me when I'm doing something wrong. I would appreciate it. Uh, listen, I make a lot of mistakes. I'm just like everybody else. Well, maybe not everybody else. I, I, do, I make more than my share of, of mistakes, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, maybe some of you guys that know what I'm talking about. Anyway, hit the like button. Um, you got to subscribe. Uh, do whatever you want to do. We, we want to thank you for watching. But before I go, let me just tell you how easy it is to get these bulbs from Home Depot. Very simple. You see that case right there? This replaces those bulbs, okay? 
and it's very simple. It's a very simple process to do this. These things cost $20. You get two of them at Home Depot. You get the extra package of, of connectors. You get the wired and unwired. It's just a really good deal and it changes the game. The changes you having to worry about whether or not it's the fluorescent light that's bad, if it's the baluster that's bad, or if it's the fuse inside. This one didn't have that. It only had either the baluster or the lights. Turns out it was the ballast that was bad in this particular light. So, thank you for.